Hi, I'm Fear Cow and the Bee Whisperer. It's Thursday morning. I have one of my helpers today. My apprentices couldn't come in today. COVID last week and now his kids have COVID this week. So uh, I'm doing some of the stuff myself here, which is uh, a good change. But um, normally I should get all these things built during the winter time. It's not as if we had a few, had days that we could have been working with the bees, but here we have a nice day working with the bees and I'm assembling equipment. Why am I assembling equipment? Because I took orders for four assembled painted hives. And come this time of year, I always get caught out by running out of assembled painted brand new equipment. And so I'm assembling equipment on a day I should be working with my bees. But, uh, Still, it's good to have a little bit of a break. I'm actually a bit low on queens, so I've only got enough queens to do maybe a dozen splits today, if that, maybe eight. And so I'll easily get that done later on this morning. Uh, and I'll get these equipment assembled and painted uh, so that I can put nukes in them so that my customers can get their bees now, because that's the only thing holding them back now. So once I get these assembled painted, I'll be on the phone getting these folks their nukes which is great. It has now been gone from being a cool, windy, wet spring uh, with lots of up and down temperatures earlier on to now what we have is a nice, nice sunny weather, spell of sunny weather. Maybe every few days we're getting a bit of rain. We're getting more wind than maybe normal, but uh, we're getting days in the 60s, 70s, and this weekend again, 80s. So it's a um, beautiful time of year for the bees to be out flying, building up their resources and um, building up colony strength really quickly. So whilst I was uh, looking like being a couple of weeks behind in um, bee preparation, I'd say I'm back, I'm down to about one week behind and uh, hopefully I'll actually catch up and by mid-June, I promised so far all the nukes I promised would be in for mid-June. Uh, I hope to be ha having caught up by then and having everyone that's been told to get a nuke by mid-June gets one by mid-June as well. Um, and then, who knows, I'll probably sell another 50 beyond that or so. So we'll see, we're wor working on it. Right now I have the radio switched off so I can talk to the camera because I don't think I'm allowed to broadcast uh, uh, music without permission so uh, I'm having to do it silently but normally in between hammering of nails I'll be listening to some old 70s 80s radio station um, which of course is uh, owned by uh, Stephen King one of the, the people one of the landlords of the people that I have uh, bees on uh, so my bango yard is in Stephen King's radio station so Naturally, I'll be listening to Stephen King's radio station here, listening to a bit of uh, uh, good music at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to start banging nails in, and uh, that doesn't make for a good sound, so I'll probably mute this bit out, uh, the next bit out, and I'm going to assemble a few, a few uh, supers. Okay, the radio's off. So, I've been standing on a super down there, so I don't have to reach up high to get my um, the hammer of the soup. 
And having made four, I've made four deep supers now. My shoulder's starting to get to me. And having made too many at uh, at one time in the past, and had to have physiotherapy on my shoulder for two springs, I realised that best to take it in smaller intervals. Only do a couple of uh, three, four supers at a time, then take a break. I still have one more to make up. I've got four back there already done. I'll assemble a few frames and uh, then this, uh, this order I can start painting. So I'll set it up here to do my painting of the equipment now and uh, we'll be on our way. So it's uh, certainly a busy time of year. Yesterday I uh, put a lot of seconds, um, second deep supers on my single story hives and uh, I will be going out there and uh, putting a few more on next week and also some of those colonies I'll be splitting before they do too much more anyway but this is a way of making sure if I don't split those colonies uh, they've got plenty of room to grow and if they if I do leave them to grow and make to make honey they're going to be run as single brood chamber management so they'll be uh, um, brought back down from two brood chambers to a single brood chamber. Uh, have a, another look at a few things going on outside at the moment. Before I close for the day. This last week I've had a stack of equipment out here. It was about uh, six or seven supers tall. There's a range of empty, there was a range of empty boxes, some drawn comb, a little bit of honey just stacked up. There was a cover on it. And I thought, oh, the bees are taking an interest in that. They've been uh, uh, robbing out the honey supers, which is pretty normal when there's a lot of bees out back and a lot of competition for food they'd be out there robbing a bit of honey and so we're putting that equipment away yesterday and lo and behold there's a little cluster in there so we moved the frames into this little nuke box and it appears a little swarm had moved in during the uh, last week in fact we probably just before my class last week probably the day before when i first noticed all the bees around it and i was thinking that's enough scout bees to be a swarm or it was uh, to be a small swarm or uh, they were just robbing out and turned out that it's uh, a little swarm. So got another nuke done all without any work. So I'll just uh, move this box after they've had a, another day or two settling down. I will move them on a morning or an evening to one of my other yards. There's one thing I don't want to do have a load of frustrated bees right in front of my shop and end up with uh, depleting the hive and having angry bees both here at the shop and where we want to relax in the swimming pool so that was a little bonus that we got didn't see the swarm move in that would have been fun but uh, nevertheless bit of bonus. I've actually never had a swarm move into one of my stacks of equipment. I hear about it all the time, uh, but here we go. First one. As we did last year, I'm growing my wildflowers out here, so let's have a bit of a look out here. Grass needs cutting already. I'm cutting some parts around it, but this is the area where we've got all sorts growing up. A lot of this little stuff here, I think, is just receding from last year. I don't know what it is, but there's an awful lot of it. The dandelions in this part are past it now, but the in the shaded areas, the dandelions are certainly still in full throttle, and the bees are enjoying those. Still a bit early in the morning yet. There's not too many out, bees-wise. But we're going to have quite a few plants out here. I've extended the area where the flowers are going to be. And 
and uh, as I showed in a video earlier, raked in a lot of seed. So this area is coming up with a lot of that, uh, those wildflower seeds I've put up here. Been trying to keep it moist when we had a spell with no rain. I don't know how well it's gonna take off here, but I still think we've got, I think I seeded this pretty heavily and I see lots of stuff coming up. So fingers crossed, this area will come up beautifully as well. I'm gonna take you the wildflower area right out to this area now here. So considerably further forward. I've also got a few plants going. in the front yard, ornamental. I had a pollen feeder there in the middle going and it went for a while. That looks nice. No swarms moving into those yet. Some of it. Anyway, I want to show you the, some of the plants I've got going over here. So, because I had all the problem with the chipmunks last year, getting uh, sunflowers going, I started a few in the house. Now I can plant them out shortly. Yes, they are ready to go. I don't think dandelions like being trans. I mean, not dandelions. Sunflowers like to be transferred too much, but these I think are definitely ready to transfer. Got some giant sunflowers here, and a variety of different sunflowers here. Looks like they could do with some water, and a few things for the vegetable garden as well. So those will get planted soon. I've got a bit of painting to do, so we'll get on with some painting. Put lights on.
So the equipment is painted. Cool morning at the moment. We've got getting things finished off. Uh, time to, when it warms up, time to get on with some proper bee work again. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.